Hello out there to you. Let's make a spreadsheet. Learn how to make a spreadsheet to calculate uh, unemployment rate, labor force, labor force participation rate. So I've got all this data. I'm going to put it into Excel so that I can uh, manipulate it and um, uh, see what the answers are. Okay, so have so I've got age. I've got the different ages here. Ages 10 to 15, 16 to 20. Ooh, uh, I want to, okay, so we're going to right click on that, we're going to go to format cells, and we're going to tell you this is just a, it's actually just a general concept there, uh, interesting, um, 10 to 15, uh, it's still messing with me, okay, okay, Excel, I'm just going to make it a text then, so 10, to 15. Okay, there. And I'm also realizing I didn't put in the children, so below 10. There we go. Putting all these ages in here. So 21 to 30, uh, 31 to 50, 51 to 70, and uh, above 70. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, all right, so have a full-time job. We're going to call these people employed. Okay, just to sure up our spreadsheet here. And then have a part-time job. Okay, well, that's interesting. We'll call this full-time employed. And then we'll say part-time employed. Okay, let's add up both of these. Let's just say these are the, let's call these the total. And then here, don't have a job but are looking for one. All right, so this is the unemployed. Okay, and then these cats here don't have a job and are not looking for one. These are the discouraged workers. And then look at the total here. Total here. All right, so 150. 135, we've got a pretty small population here, 80, 20, 40, 80, 170, okay, and then this is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, actually, 0 here and 0 here, okay, so already we can take the full-time employed plus the part-time employed, and we're going to just copy that all the way down. Okay, 16 to 20 year olds have a full time job. Those are the folks that dropped out of school. So 120 and 30, 20 and 50, 80 and 100, 250 and 50, and finally 50 and 40. Okay, I'm just making the table here. Notice how that updated there unemployed okay so don't have a job and they are looking for one so 75 25 55 150 and 30 okay so the total population i'm going to use the, the sum command that adds it all up start a parentheses and just add up that and close the parentheses hit enter it should be the same numbers there copy that all the way down that gives us the total number that are uh, employed. However, my numbers are wrong because I added this total employed. Okay, so I want to fix that. Instead of starting right there, I'm just gonna go over to the total employed because this plus this equals this. So I wanna just fix my formula there. Okay, I'm gonna just copy that down and it changes it, changes it to the same right there. Okay, now if we wanna know the total whole population, then we're going to just use the sum command yet again. So total fully employed. Okay, we can actually just copy this all the way over. Did that for us. Should be the same numbers as in the problem. Yes, they are. Okay, I don't need that anymore. So move that up a little bit. Okay, what is the size of the labor force? So we have to say to ourselves, who counts in the labor force? So the labor force is everybody 16 years or older who can and is willing to work, okay? So it's gonna be the um, full-time, part-time, so these guys and these guys, 
will be the, uh, the labor force. So it'll be, uh, let me just write a quick formula here. So labor force equals the total employed plus the total unemployed, and it's 1,125. Sorry. Labor force. Calculate the labor force participation rate. So labor force participation rate is the oops, oops, it is the the labor force divided by the population, and that's it's gonna we we're gonna want a percent. So we'll multiply that by a hundred. Okay, and then so labor force participation rate sixty two. 0.5%, and if you like, you can put that percent there. I'm well aware that if I didn't multiply it by 100, I could then hit that uh, percent key, and it'll do the same thing. So look at this, 62%, okay? Um, now, if you wanted to, you could actually calculate each group here as a fraction of the total population. Do that kind of the same way. Calculate the unemployment rate for this, or for this total country. So the unemployment, I'm going to call this the unemployment rate. Okay, make this a little bit bigger. So what that is, is the unemployed and searching part of the population. So these 335 folks divided by the labor force, which is that one right there. And then again, multiplied by 100. Okay, here we go. Ooh, that's pretty high. Uh, twenty nine point seven seven percent. If you want to make that, if you want to round it, what do they want? Two decimal places. Okay, two decimal places. So then this one be five zero. So that's also a percent. All right. So that is the unemployment rate for that economy. Now, if you wanted to know the unemployment rate for each segment. segment of the population we could do the uh, we'd have to know the what is the size of it we could do that with Excel so unemployment um, the oops let's actually put it right here actually no let's put this over here okay so the unemployment rate for 10 year olds we don't really care. It's not not anything we want to calculate because under 15, BLS doesn't calculate that. So we've got uh, our unemployed divided by this plus this. Okay. I'm going to put this in parentheses. Now we want to kind of put the whole thing in parentheses. So we're going to multiply it by 100 to give us that percent. So what this is, is the unemployed part of the labor force divided by the unemployed part of the labor force plus the employed people. Okay, and so they have a really high uh, unemployment rate, 33%. Okay, that makes sense too. Those are the folks that didn't finish school. So you can actually just calculate, follow this all the way down. This country has a very high unemployment rate. So that's how to manipulate this number. All right, I got a couple more questions here. Um, for this part, assume that nothing has changed with respect to population. For those who are working to keep their jobs, um, those who are working kept their jobs, and those who are looking for work, um, uh, still looking. Okay, babies born, unemployment rate unchanged. Labor force participation rate will actually fall because the population went up, but the um, the labor force uh, didn't change. Okay, um, this isn't necessarily bad, but uh, the employment to population ratio will also fall because now there's uh, higher population but no change in the employment. All right, next, John was John is 35 years old, discouraged by poor job opportunities. He's not looking. One day, his cousin calls him to offer offer him a job which he took so the un the unemployment rate will fall because now we've got um, we've increased the um, uh, part of the labor force but we've also um, in increased the number of people who are employed okay 
labor force participation rate will rise, which is good news, and the employment to population ratio will also rise because now John is looking and working. After 50 years, Mark, 70 years old, retires. The unemployment rate will uh, actually increase because Mark has just left the, um, the labor force. So we have the labor force falling and we have a person who is working decrease. And then labor force participation rate will also fall because we have one less worker, which is the numerator, and um, a decrease or so no change in the population rather. Okay, so that's how to think about the 